Hi. Welcome back to the hsebox.com channel. In the intricate tapestry of occupational health, musculoskeletal disorders, MSDs, stand as a formidable challenge, impacting the well-being of individuals and the efficiency of organizations. Ranging from back pain to repetitive strain injuries, MSDs have become a prevalent concern in workplaces worldwide. Understanding the nuances of these disorders, their causes, prevention, and management is not just a matter of health and safety but a strategic imperative for fostering a productive and sustainable work environment. This video delves into the realm of musculoskeletal disorders, unraveling the complexities, exploring preventative measures, and shedding light on the crucial intersection between musculoskeletal health and occupational well-being. Question number one. What are musculoskeletal disorders, MSDs? Musculoskeletal disorders, MSDs, encompass a range of conditions that affect the muscles, bones, tendons, ligaments, and other parts of the musculoskeletal system. Common examples include arthritis, back pain, and repetitive strain injuries. These disorders can manifest in various ways, leading to pain, stiffness, inflammation, and reduced mobility. Factors such as poor ergonomics, repetitive movements, and aging contribute to the development of MSDs. Question number two. How do MSDs impact the workplace? MSDs pose a significant impact on the workplace, affecting employee well-being and organizational productivity. Work-related factors, such as prolonged sitting, improper lifting techniques, and repetitive motions, can contribute to the development of MSDs. The resulting pain and discomfort can lead to absenteeism, decreased productivity, and increased healthcare costs for both employees and employers. Question number three. What role does ergonomics play in preventing MSDs? Ergonomics, the science of designing the workplace to fit the worker, plays a crucial role in preventing MSDs. Proper ergonomic design reduces strain on the musculoskeletal system, promoting comfort and efficiency. This includes adjusting workstations, providing ergonomic furniture, and educating employees on correct postures and movements. Implementing ergonomic practices contributes to a healthier work environment and helps prevent the onset of MSDs. Question number four. How can employers promote musculoskeletal health? Employers can promote musculoskeletal health by fostering a workplace culture that prioritizes employee well-being. This includes offering ergonomic training, conducting regular risk assessments, and providing tools and equipment designed to reduce the risk of MSDs. Creating a supportive environment that encourages breaks, stretching exercises, and proper workstations contributes to a proactive approach to musculoskeletal health. Question number five. What is the connection between exercise and MSD prevention? Regular exercise is a key component in preventing and managing MSDs. Engaging in physical activity strengthens muscles, improves flexibility, and promotes overall musculoskeletal health. Both aerobic exercises, such as walking or swimming, and strength training exercises contribute to a well-rounded approach. Encouraging employees to incorporate regular exercise into their routines can significantly reduce the risk of developing MSDs. Question number six. How can individuals manage and alleviate MSD symptoms? For individuals experiencing MSD symptoms, there are several strategies for management and relief. These include practicing good posture, incorporating stretching exercises into daily routines, and taking breaks to avoid prolonged periods of sitting. Additionally, seeking medical advice, such as physical therapy or pain management, can be beneficial in managing and alleviating symptoms associated with MSDs. Question number seven. What is the impact of aging on musculoskeletal health? Aging is a natural factor that can impact musculoskeletal health. As individuals age, there is a natural degeneration of bones, joints, and muscles, leading to conditions like osteoarthritis and reduced bone density. Maintaining an active lifestyle, a balanced diet rich in calcium and vitamin D, and regular medical checkups are crucial in managing the impact of aging on musculoskeletal health. Question number 8. Can MSDs be work-related? Yes, many MSDs can be directly related to occupational factors. Jobs that involve repetitive motions, heavy lifting, awkward postures, or prolonged periods of sitting can contribute to the development of work-related MSDs. 
Employers can mitigate this risk by implementing ergonomic measures, providing proper training, and creating a work environment that prioritizes the health and safety of employees. Question number nine. How can technology contribute to MSD prevention? Technology plays a dual role in MSD prevention. On one hand, poorly designed workstations and improper use of technology can contribute to musculoskeletal strain. On the other hand, technology can also be harnessed for prevention, such as through the use of ergonomic software, wearable devices that encourage movement, and virtual training programs that educate employees on proper ergonomics. Question number 10. What are the legal and regulatory aspects related to MSDs in the workplace? In many jurisdictions and countries, there are legal and regulatory frameworks in place to address workplace health and safety, including musculoskeletal health. Employers are often obligated to provide a safe working environment, which includes measures to prevent and manage MSDs. Compliance with these regulations not only ensures the well-being of employees but also protects organizations from legal liabilities associated with work-related MSDs. Employers should stay informed about relevant laws and standards to maintain a healthy and compliant workplace. In conclusion, the impact of musculoskeletal disorders transcends the individual, resonating throughout workplaces and industries. As we navigate the modern landscape of work, it is imperative to recognize the significance of proactive measures in preventing and managing MSDs. Whether through ergonomic interventions, employee education, or the integration of technology, fostering a culture of musculoskeletal health is not just a responsibility but an investment in the longevity and vitality of both individuals and organizations. By prioritizing prevention, promoting awareness, and adhering to legal standards, workplaces can pave the way for a future where musculoskeletal well-being is not compromised in the pursuit of professional excellence. Together, let us forge a path toward healthier, safer, and more resilient work environments. We hope that this video gives you a better understanding of health, safety, and the environment. If you have any queries, please leave a comment, and we would be glad to assist you. Check our website and our channel for more health, safety, and environmental topics. The link is in the description. Never forget health, safety, and environment are everyone's responsibility. Stay safe always. Bye-bye, see you in the next video.